number one, the first thing that comes to my mind is the word explosive. Uh, they're never out of a game. Uh, and that was so true in the uh, you know Washington State game. They just kept playing, kept playing, kept playing. They'll take deep shots downfield. They take control routes underneath and dump it off and let guys go run and uh, get you spread out. You know, run up to tempo. Uh, probably the fastest tempo that we'll see all year. Um, and then at the same time, uh, they do a nice job uh, in the run game. And the running back has done really well for them this year. He, he's he's the, you know, he's taking the lion's share of the carries, even though the other guys go in the game. But, uh, you know, same thing. I mean, we got a hands full, another, another Pac-12 team. What do you think of Goff? Oh, I think he's the most improved uh, player on their team, without a doubt. Yeah. And, and throws the ball pretty Throws the ball. He's, he's got good, uh, uh, spins the ball, get, he's got good accuracy, good velocity, you know, and all that stuff. You know, he's got a good deep ball, the outside deep ball. and. And uh, I think he's right around 65% completion average. He's got 24 touchdowns and only three uh, interceptions. And at the same time, a lot of it's due to him and, and the offensive line, but a lot due to him. I think they only have given up 18 sacks and they've thrown the ball maybe 450 times. So that's probably a pretty good percentage. Then they bring in the number eight, the backup, and he's a eight, Eight's kind of the wildcat yeah. quarterback. You know, uh, you know, we likened it to, uh, you know, we said about Portland State, they had the one quarterback that you knew that the high percentage was going to run. The difference is this guy here can also throw the ball. But uh, he, he's, he's been a runner for him. So, uh, you know, we need to, that's a pretty good change up for them, you know, and uh, um, like I said, just prepare for it all and uh, let's go.